Hi, welcome to Two Jews Making Food. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Amy. And today, today is summer sweetness. Summer sweetness. And we're going to sweeten up summer with a frosty, tasty treat. We're doing yes. ice box cake. Yeah, ooh. mine's kind of an ice box. Yeah, ooh is right, ooh too. Ooh is right. Um, mine's apparently not shown as an ice box cake Yours because it's more of a like refrigerator cake. Refrigerator cake. Yeah. Cake. Less ice. Refrigerator, not refrigerator. Refrigerator. Refrigerator <laughs> cake. Um, but when we showed each other what we were fancy. doing, it was like almost the same thing. Oh. But not. So then we decided to so. make it dueling ice Dueling box ice cakes. box refrigerator oh. cakes. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to have to vote on whose is better. It's two different. Oh, yeah. yeah. Amy always thinks hers is better, but she knows no. mine's better. It's fine. Mine is, it's um, good. so I am making a, <clears throat> this is interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tell us. A, uh, Recipe that's very popular in the New York Times, Times by uh, J. Kenji Lopez Alt, who's a big contributor, uh, cookbook writer. Um, this is like one of his most popular recipes, which is a uh, Ritz cracker lime refrigerator cake. You know, super, super bougie. Super healthy, like condensed <laughs> milk and heavy cream. <laughs> Amy's like, Amy's like, Rebecca. It's got citrus in it. It is the number one recipe. I was like, that's so weird because it's very similar to the one I'm also making. Which is number two. <laughs> <laughs> Which is actually lemon blueberry icebox cake. It's more traditional, graham crackers. Again, it's also very low calorie. I'm sure it is yeah. on... Uh, and mine has that unusual twist of the Ritz cracker to give it like a I buttery like saltiness. I love that. Idea. Right? Yeah, so I haven't even tasted mine yet that key, I made ahead of time. Key lime, right? Is that? Well, it's not just regular lime. It, no. Well, would this, never. I am it. sorry. Oh, no. I'm they're just regular lime. Oh, they're not key They're lime. not key limes. But well, we're not it's in Florida, okay. Key so limes it's are fine. a little bit it's less tart. I like the tartness. Me too. Yeah, just lean into it. Just get into it. Lean into it. So are you going to, do you want to begin? Should we booze? Where do we? Well, do you need to like whip anything into a frenzy first? What do so you need to do first? So I have to say, first? this we don't is plan much. this is the highest maintenance, low maintenance dish I have ever made. In terms of like, it's so easy. You can make it before you leave the house, and it's ready for your party. And you're like, oh, that sounds great. But then like, you look at the recipe, and it's like, hand make this jam. And then it was like, mix in lemon curd. You can find it at the grocery store, and you can find it at the grocery store. But then I wanted to make my own, so I literally used like everything in the kitchen and then I had to clean you it. Made it you made it chefy. I did. I, yeah. I just wanted I just mine, didn't want it to taste mine so is bought. ridiculously easy. Okay. The most tedious part of mine Tell is me. squeezing the limes and I didn't do it ahead of time because <laughs> it's so easy I've got 24 minutes to do it so I think it's fine. Um, so I'm gonna start um, squeezing my limes. Um, and as is always, do. first of all, I use a lot. I'm always making stuff with lime on this show. Because lime's delicious. I know, but I'm always talking about how you gotta roll your citrus. Because it helps it to, to juice. loosen the juices. Yeah. But actually, yeah, before I do things. that, I forgot. I do need a lot. I need um, a tablespoon. Oh, a tablespoon. <laughs> when I splashed you, a tablespoon of lime zest plus more for garnish. So I'm gonna so zest. So it's like a hundred limes. So it's like a little mountain of lime zest. So I'm gonna yeah, zest. Well, you better I'm get gonna to zest. it. I'm gonna start testing. I'm gonna zest probably like. Five limes. All right, I'm going to so jam. So this is a lovely um, microplane. It's my favorite for zesting. I'm going to get going. Please do. Please I do. Shall. You do you. I'm going to. I'm going to jam. I'm, I'm making blueberry here. jam for the inside of jam. the icebox. Yeah. I'm going to jam. So what, all you do to start, it's actually very simple. I love when I think things it's are going one. to be difficult, and then they're actually very simple, which is just fresh blueberries, and then you throw some sugar in. Because I like to call them blubberies. <laughs> Just because, okay. I don't know, I just always <laughs> did, and it stuck. <laughs> oh, okay, Amy, that Ever makes since I sense. was a child. Okay, so then you put those in, you turn it on, and then every now and then you mix it. Mm. And the blueberries will start to, you know, pop and break down. I do suggest not turning it on too hot because you can singe the sugar, and it will, like, crystallize and become hard, and then it's kind of a mess. Because the only thing too hot in this kitchen is you, Rebecca. Yes, right. <laughs> right, Kristen? Right. Just keep telling Absolutely. Me about that. <laughs> what I was thinking. Oh, I, I know. Up. We always Okay, are. so this is going. And when they get hot, the blueberries like will kind of burst. They will burst forth from the sea. Oh, I love when they burst. It will create jam. Burst and blubberies. Wow. Plus, what? Billy oh. just said wow. Well, he's very impressed by I your know. blubbery. Blubberies. Burst and blubberies. I'm getting into this. And now I'm going to make our drink while that's happening. That and sounds like a great idea. And you're zesty. Kristen's really thirsty. So she says she's never had a Pisco Sour, which really? is what we're making today. Who has, has everyone had a Pisco Sour? Yes. So I have to say, over the weekend... Sounds like maybe two people have had one. Okay. Uh, over the weekend, I did some testing, which is you can either make it with aquafaba, which is the, um, it's a liquid that comes in chickpeas. 
which I know sounds disgusting. And when you say it, you're like, I'm not using that in my drink. It sounds gross. When she sent me the photos of all the ingredients, I'm like, what's with the chickpeas? She's like, why? What is, did you make a mistake? Did it autocorrect? I'm like, no. And I also made it with egg whites from an egg. I have to tell you, we tried them side by side. We tried them one after the other. We tried multiple rounds. You cannot taste a difference. There is no difference. The, the egg might make it slightly more silky, but I don't think it's worth cracking eggs open. So you're using the chickpea juice. I am juice. using chickpea juice. You're it's just chickpea to juice from the can. Chickpea juice from a can. And, and a I cocktail. even bought store brand chickpeas. So it's what? not even, it's not They're even not like organic? fancy. No. I'm out. I'm, well, you know, that's your problem. Just kidding. <laughs> so then you don't get any, Amy. So oh, what we're going to do is, is Kristen pisco. will have mine. No, I'm going to drink it because I love it. I love a Pisco sour. All right. So I'm going to do two ounces per drink. What is that? Pisco. Oh, that's actual Pisco. What is Pisco? Yeah, what is Pisco? It's uh, in the family of brandy. I didn't realize that Pisco sour was can made you with check Pisco. The blueberries? I, I hear them. I hear them sizzling. And can you just finish them? I can so drink. two in there. Uh, two ounces of Pisco. It wasn't in my plan. I was zesting. Well, I you can multitask. I can multitask. And then there's two ounces of simple syrup. I actually made my own simple syrup, which is one to one water to sugar. I love that little thing you got there for right. your simple syrup. It's so cute. Yeah, and then aquafaba. Why did you turn this temperature the heat down? You can't. I just that with that, it's it's, always, it gets very hot. The ounces of the aquafaba. And then two ounces of lime juice. I'm feeling it. And we walked away. Sorry, people in the booth. Uh oh. It's okay. They called you. Just take it off the heat if it's getting too hot. Don't be afraid. I'm afraid. We'll just lift it up if it's getting too hot. <laughs> You're so smart. <laughs> She's smart and pretty. Yeah, girl. <laughs> two juice. Did you see the face I made? <laughs> I'm sure there was an eye roll. There was. <laughs> No, so should I just keep this completely off now? I'll put it back up for this. Yeah, I think you can just let it take it off. It smells really good. I'll turn it off and then it can just keep doing its thing. So now I, I dry shake, which means that there's no ice in the shaker. Dry shake, no ice. And for some reason, it does create a little bit of pressure for whatever reason. And then it just explodes. This is a James Bond. Yes, because it's sh it's shaken, not sir. Yeah, but I don't know that he he was. A, I think he was just a martini guy. I don't think he was a he was. pisco sour yeah. guy, right? So I give this a good. Just, just, just. So you said pisco is like a little bit of a brandy. It's a brandy. It's in the brandy family. Huh. And now I grab ice, and now I put ice in just to kind of cool it down. Excuse me, Jason. Can you show these blueberries? Blueberries. <laughs> blueberries. Blueberries. That's nice. Look at look at look how good that looks. You're such a chef, Amy. Look at you go. Someone should hire you. You should have your own cooking show. I should have my own cooking show. Well, I know I need a cooking show with somebody else. Oh, wait. <laughs> if only there was someone. I, would, I definitely would not want to do this on my own, so thank God for you. Um, it kind of, is that the cornstarch? There's no cornstarch in it. What is that? Is it sugar? Did it get too hot? Oh, maybe. Whatever. Well, right. I'll go. I'll oh. there. <laughs> right. back, to, back to zesting for me. Okay. Actually, I'm pretty good with the zest. Got a good amount already. Look. Maybe just a little bit more. Such a pretty and the, color. The key to the uh, pisco sour is that foam at the top, which is Ooh. what you want. Just a little less. Isn't that pretty? So it's just pisco, simple syrup, uh, simple syrup mm -hmm. lime, lime, and aquafaba, aka uh, um, chickpea juice. And then three little. Dollops of I use orange bitters because that's bitters. what I like. Nice. All right, and done. I don't know why I always thought these were going to be more challenging to make. Is this the Amy glass or is this the Rebecca glass? I actually, don't know. Uh, aren't they? They're tiny. I can't see. It's this is mine. Oh goody! All right, I can't forget Cheers. yours. Cheers. Cheers, Lachaim. Lachaim. East Coast sour. Tastes like chickpeas. Just kidding. <laughs> no, it's so good. It does not. You can't even taste it. It tastes, mm. it tastes like nothing. Like it doesn't, I mean, it tastes like Very nothing. sweet. There's no chickpea. <laughs> Just chickpea juice. Mm hmm Yeah. But that's what makes the foam. That is what makes it. It makes it so. That's so cool. Number one, you can make a bunch of them. And I mean, unless you put, you're making. You gotta take a picture. Like bread pudding the next day and you need yolks. Like, why would you waste eggs? Especially when they're like $100 a egg. I gotta take a picture. Picture. Here, you want a little, you want me to? Yeah. <laughs> that's mine. That's yours. Do you make these I take a picture of Or do you find them somewhere? 
Pisco right. Sour is a... Create these on your no. own. Oh, no. Pisco oh. Sour is a Peru, right? Is it that what so. name? It's Andrea's favorite. Which one of Andrea's favorite? Thing? Andrea Grover, Ruth. the director of Guildhall. For those watching in the, the Pacific Northwest <laughs> or wherever, <laughs> wherever you tune into our show. Or the Northeast. The Northeast. No, I know, but maybe they're watching all oh, the way across oh, the country. The I'm, that's, that's my point, that our viewership is wide. Yes. We've got some California viewers. Our it's my family. Mom. Yeah, not even our full families. Our, our parents. Neither of our siblings watch it. That's not true. My mom, my mom shares it with my nieces and nephews. They Does like she? It. Yeah. Which Mine they, are now too old. And they're like, that's embarrassing. They think I'm a famous chef, which is hilarious. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I am to them. I met someone at an event the other night, and they were like, why do I know you? Actually, and you um, she's like, you look so familiar. And then she came up to me later. She's like, I know what it is. I watch your show. Well, that's I nice. know. I was so flattered. And she watches it on television, not even on YouTube. Jeez. Yeah, she actually sees it on Channel 20. So, hey, watch on Channel 20 or on 2JewsMakingFood.com to our YouTube channel. That's right. Subscribe, please. Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. Like, follow. At two Jews making food dot com. Two Jews making food. Oh, at two Jews making food. Two Jews making food dot com. Can you give this one out for me? Yeah. Thank you. I like your first drink better. She's making one. Your first drink better. Billy. <laughs> He's not a pisco sour guy, I guess. That's all right. You all right I think that's eat. enough zest. So I'm gonna start juicing. Hey, Amy. Uh, I'm gonna need the other Roll in my juices. Cause I have to I have to yield. Uh oh. What was that? A lime. Can you cut this in half for me? Yeah. <laughs> well, because it ended up on the ground. So oh no. That's life. Good for immunity. Well, you've been doing that's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, audience. <laughs> Just talk to us. <laughs> um so yeah, I have this super old um zet, uh, juicer I love. Yeah. So I don't know if you knew this. You probably did it right, but I only learned recently that despite the shape where you would think that it goes in that way. Do you all do it this way? Thank you. She doesn't. I, I was doing it wrong. It goes in upside down. Because that yeah that's when all the juice goes otherwise the juice gets stuck in it and this and it comes out much it's also much easier to squeeze. So yeah so you put you go the opposite of what it seems. Right. So so yeah, put that lime in face, or flesh, or no, inside down, and then squeeze. This is a really old one. So I'm going for a half a cup of lime juice, which I'm going to mix in with my other stuff. Please do. Good enough. Should we, uh, should we go to the Yiddish lesson? Yeah. While you're cleaning that up? All right, we're going to take it away to the Yiddish lesson of the day with my dad, Owl. Pops, what's going what's on? What's up, Amy? Hi. Long time no speak. I know. Well, you know, I don't know why we don't FaceTime more. We always call, but we should FaceTime. I don't know why we don't. I love to see your punim. <laughs> um, all right. We always go on way too long with these because we love to, you know, yenter it up. What uh, What is today's Yiddish word? Okay. Uh, several weeks ago when I did one of these, I used a very obscure word called frosk, which was a slap. Oh, yes, yeah, uh, yeah, it's a slap. Do you remember, remember that? Yes. This word is called zetz. Z-E-T-S or Z-E-T-Z. -E Not to be confused with zitz, but oh, zetz. Correct. Zetz is a punch. I'd a, like you to give you a zetz. A hard punch. A hard, you're, <laughs> I, I get a slap, I get a punch. There's yeah, a, well, you know, I'm going for here. words that... Uh, People don't use. How violent was your upbringing? <laughs> uh, it had its moments. Yeah, I've heard. You know, I told you about my grandmother, I think, the last time. We'd run around and chase us. And when I catch a woman, I give you such a frost, and she'd start laughing, and we'd let us give her a little slap so on our face. who gave then? Guess. Your, your dad. My dad. He was a hard-working guy, worked long hours, yeah. physical work. My mother would... I was always hocking my mother because I was kind of naughty. And she would say to him when he came in the house, oh, you won't believe what he did today. And he got angry. And he got angry very easy. And boom, I'd get a zets. Get a zets. A zets. I, 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 think, I think I got a few zetses in my day. 
Well, you never got his ads like I got his ads. <laughs> no, well, that, that as the years go on, it gets more and more questionable about you know yeah. what kind of zets you give somebody, if any at all. Now you can't do as you can't give. But a I Z. gotta say one thing to apologize to him before this is over. He always apologized. Really? He would not go to bed until he would come into me and say he was sorry. Hmm. And he gave you his ads. Then he gave me his ads or two. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Waiting so for my least, apology. Uh, uh, they weren't exactly love taps, but uh, he was apologetic. So well, you were a pain in the pain in the ass, I guess. I, I was. I your sister. She was worse. Yeah. Don't watch this, Aunt Carol. All right. Well. <laughs> All right. Time has runneth out. Okay. Well. Uh, always fun. Have... Another good and 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 sort of negative word. But... <laughs> well, what the heck? You know, heck? maybe it had a positive effect on who I turned out to be. Well, you're knows? a good. You're a good gent. All right. I love you, Dad. All right. Bye, love Mom. You love too. you. Bye. 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 <laughs> so my I love mom you, and Aunt. 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 Hi. Hi. Yeah. My dad, like, I don't know. It's like everything is like violent, negative. <laughs> it's like somebody who steals, somebody you get to hit them. I don't know. It's a trend. My mom's usually like related to food or being sloppy. Having Last one was. Was that what Shmata? Oh, Shmata! I love Shmata. Yeah. This thing's beeping up a storm because Is I'm it? pressing on it. Uh -oh. Shmata. Shmata. Oh, I'm still, I'm still squeezing. Oh my God, where give it am a, I? Give it a, what was it? Zest? A zest. Oh, I'm almost there. Zest? Okay, I have one more. Okay, so then to start making the icebox cake, I pulled the, uh, the jam. We're only like three quarters of the way through the show. The jam off, <laughs> and I am letting it cool because we don't want it to um, melt the cream once we. Fair point. Zhuzh it up. So everything's cooling down. But the, the key to making an icebox cake work is that you put um, the, the, the wrap over. That's smart. So that way when it's done, you can just pull it up and out of the, the pan. I didn't do that. And it's key. You didn't do that? Well, mine's well, not You're really not supposed to Mine's the scoop out. You're just a scoop. -a. Mine's a scoop. -a. scoop -a. I think it's going to have to do. Oh, there we go. Half a cup. Woohoo! Okay. We're gonna oh, and now to the jam. I have to... Give it up a bit. So I am doing two cans, 14 ounce cans of, of very, very healthy sweetened condensed milk. Oh, it's a diet. It's a know. diet. This is a low-cal summer delight. Good for bathing suit season. It's absolutely good for bathing suit season if you're wearing a moo. -moo. <laughs> if you're wearing a shmata. If you're wearing a shmata. I'm putting a little bit of lemon. Which I into usually do. <laughs> into my jam. I've literally never made anything with sweetened condensed milk before, except really? maybe a cocktail. Oh. Oh, no. it is go in, go, go in. I feel go. like I want to like put this in my coffee. Is it, oh, it's good, right? I'm going to do it. Because I got these from Costco, so I have like six more cans. Yay. All right. And to thicken up the jam. I know, I'm using my fingers. Don't judge. I'm judging you. Uh. All right, so we have lemon juice. I have a little bit of cornstarch to make the jam. A little bit of water. I'm going to very slowly the start. Lemon juice. Doing my, it's Is probably going to splatter a little bit. Go. 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 Whoopee. Yeah. Splash zone. I only blend this for about a minute. It'll get, whoopee. <laughs> whoopee. It'll get thick. Like whipped cream? Are you horrified yet? <laughs> Rebecca's going to keep cleaning up after it, but I'm just going to keep making a mess. Why does this lock on me? I don't know. Maybe because I'm on here? Ooh, I'm, I'm whipping in motion. So yeah, anyway, I'm whipping this up for about a minute or so until it just thickens. Kind of like a whipped cream. Whoops. I don't know how to unlock it. Uh-oh. We figured it out once, but... Yeah, I just put it in, but it... As usual, this takes longer than it did at home. I think it's because it's hotter in the studio. It might awesome. be. Right. Look at it. <laughs> I'm like a Jackson Pollock in here. It's a splash zone. It should, it, <laughs> it should whip up. 
it might be the temperature in here. We have a, we tend to have an issue with. That's what I'm saying. When I brought my kitchen aid in, the lift is it's pretty hard. And then when you bring a hand mixer in here, it struggles. Pretty interesting. And now I'm going to mess you up because you're going to use this. That's right. right. Well, you know what? Honestly, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to drink while you're eating because I already made one that looks good. So. <laughs> I am going to put it together. It's just going to be a bit. But it'll. it'll uh... Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, wait, you know what? I forgot. So then I got to put my zest in. That's soup, Amy. It's <laughs> soupy. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I love cooking in kitchens that aren't mine. That's fabulous. You know what? It did say, hold on, I'm going to take this off. Because the, 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 um, the, um. It's just the water on the bottom. My brain is fried. The recipe did say to whisk it. But that's a lot of work. Isn't that what that is? Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to use this for a little bit. Maybe that'll be better. I don't think so. <laughs> I think that's literally why they made a hand mixer. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That is that is soup. That's terrible. terrible well, this is me. just a disaster. But this is what we like to Want happen, huh? Yeah, sure. Maybe you'll be nice. I'll just drink. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you know what I forgot? The lemon juice. I'm gonna need that. Oh, it's really thickening up. You did it. Woo! I think I remember the lemon juice. Lemon juice. It's thickening. Can you adjust here? It's alright, all good. Are you getting flat? LTV loves having us. <laughs> I like that's fine. Whoa. <laughs> I think I made a mess you anyway. Use it too, don't you? All right, I'm just going to stubble mine. There we go. All right, the cornstarch helped to thicken it up just a bit. There we go. I like when it's thickening up. Did you knock it over? Oh. I missed that one. Look. They should hire you in the NBA. <laughs> Sorry, Jason. I totally didn't mean to do that. Thank you, Amy. Okay. I'm a little tipsy. Just be careful now. I'm behind you with a really hot one. Okay. I need a spoon. <laughs> no, just take your time. We were talking about how <laughs> a previous episode we filmed. Oh, you did a great job. It's nice and thick. Look, see, look, it's thick. Oh, Rebecca, you're a genius. Yeah. Um. So, anyway, the last episode we filmed, we we're like, that wasn't chaotic enough. It was so <laughs> low key. We, we we thrive on chaos. Well, here we are. Well, here we are. Yeah, <laughs> chaos. All right. So this one, what you do? is you put a little bit of, um, you put some of the cream mixture at the bottom of whatever dish you're using. In this case, I'm using this little like loaf pan, but it's kind of on the small side, but for, that's why I chose it for today. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like a rose of two of each. It looks like I can fit eight Ritz crackers across. Ritz crackers. Ritz crackers. So that's all, then you just keep layering, boom. Boom. All right, now's the time to rock and roll. You ready Do for this? It. Here we go. All right, so I have eight ounces of mascarpone. Ooh. Mascarpone. Uh, sorry, I was looking for it. This is speed cooking. What a mess. <laughs> Oh, good. Gets wiped down. Oh, it does. <laughs> We're just gonna leave it like this. That's Bye. why we. That's why we don't put carpet in a kitchen. Although people used to put carpet in a bathroom. I know, that's disgusting. Who came up with that idea? Anyone? Any? The, seven, <laughs> the 70s came up with that idea. Okay, so, and then uh, <laughs> yeah. three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. So the contents of yours are actually quite different than mine. Are they? Yeah. And then lemon zest. Booyah. Booyah. And then we're going to whip it. Oh, God. Whip, whip it, it good. good. Uh -huh. Oh, it's getting a nice breeze on me when you do that. Thank you. I'm hot. Well, that's the thick one, though. Is it meant to be thick? What? Is it meant to be thick? Yeah. All right. Please. And then 
then now that that's nice and fluffy, you add in two and a half cups of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. Yeah, girl. But you do it. That's what's similar to ours. <laughs> Somebody just went, oh God. It's a low calorie recipe, I told you. I told you, it's so healthy. Happy summer. We just give it up on the entirety of it. Just lean into it now. We drive on chaos. See, this is the time that another get a cluster would be good. I know, we need a second get as well. We also need about 10 more minutes if we don't have. What's that? Yeah, there's a lot of schmutz oh God, in this kitchen right everywhere. now. Yes. Schmutz is one of my favorites. Or, Here we go. One. This is a Meshuggah episode. <laughs> I'm almost done. Two more. Yeah. <laughs> you know what my needing as soon as you put as soon as you put the lemon juice in, then it started thickening. It's kind of funny. So now how I mean the lime juice. Does that just go to the refrigerator? It goes in the refrigerator. Two hours to, <laughs> to overnight. <laughs> And I'm going to show you the end result in just a second after we do the final layer. In the minute we have left. Well, this is what I was saying. This is like the most highly low recipe in the world. Yeah. Like this one again, it's like... <laughs> it's like a whole Are you eating this really? Oh, it's a mess. So now to make this a little bit easier, like how I say it all calmly, <laughs> you put a little bit of the, well, and this is also hot, so we have to keep it hot. A little bit of the cream on the bottom, it keeps everything from like moving around and making a huge mess. Just a little bit, kind of coat the bottom. Try to get it all the way. I have no idea what you're doing over there, but I'm loving it. Right? I'm sprinkling okay. some lime zest on top. And then I'm going to take... This recipe uses almost one whole <laughs> set of graham crackers. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. I'm done. I'm going to be done in a minute, too. Are you? Watch how fast I'm going to do this. This is how fast this recipe is. You got 11 seconds. Uh, well, we, we, uh, we have a little... Not really. Not we got really. a little wiggle room. They tell me it's fine. <laughs> All right, so mine's done. I'm gonna take out one that's actually done. Can so you, you take mine out too? Yeah. I think I'm top shelf. Oh, okay. There we go. And now you're just gonna layer. You put a layer of this in. Ooh. Oh, yours is neat. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now the trick to this is that after this part's done, you put it in night, like make give it a nice thick layer. Now I think to make it really pretty, uh, they can hear you in China. Um, <laughs> can I flip this over? You can do it. Oh, I forgot my. I was wiping my hands. Away. It's fine. Um, you here? I'll let you do the reveal. And then I take the. This is actually homemade uh, lemon curd. Ugh. Ina Garden's recipe. Yum. You just take it and just draw like a little line down the middle. Like that. This is mine. Yours is done. Look. Mm, Woo! Nice. It's not falling out of the pan. <laughs> I'm gonna scoop some up. Please do. You go like that. Oh, it's hard. So this one you don't, hers is like all pretty. Oh, and then this this one's cool. Like that. Like and then mess. you put Blueberry jam down the middle. I think I get this too. Oh, that way, when you cut it open, it's in this nice line. Ooh. Do you want me to do the reveal on yours here? Or do you want to do yeah, it? Yeah, you can do that. Um, and then you put a little bit more of this. Ooh, look at it formed in the thing. Whip That's so pretty. On top. Yeah, they're both beautiful. They are, right? You do that. Okay, I'm going to slice it. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> There. <laughs> and then you take then another here. set of graham crackers. That. All right, we're running out. We got to taste this. Uh, I'm just going to keep I baking keep... over here like there's all the time in the world. Here. 
Let's taste. Okay. And then we'll say goodbye and you can keep working. I will. Oh, that looks oh. good though. Oh. Wow. These are impressive. I gave a lot. All right, I'm tasting yours first. I already have You mine. taste mine first. Mmm. Ooh. Yeah, good. Oh, you know what's interesting? So the most interesting thing about these dishes is that mm. the graham cracker and Mine's the Ritz good. crackers get get soft, but not mushy, gross. And so it tastes like it's crust. So it's not oh, like it's like a cookie. Oh, it's not like it's a cracker. It tastes like it's crust. And this is like a savory Ooh. type of crust with the salt in it. A little it. savory, yeah. You know what I mean? It's good. Mm. They're both delicious. Mm. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, this is delicious. That's really good. Okay. Well, despite the mess, I think these are two excellent summer sweets. Mm. We should make this. We should make this. And a pinko sour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm going to slice this up for the audience and mm. um, call it a day. Delicious. Mm. We'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for Two Jews Making Food. And uh, we'll see you next time for more schmaltz and, and shtick and, 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 and a whole lot of mess. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>